Ati Lorin, oh, don't teach people how to lie to their parents. It's wrong. It's not. First of all, those are not kids. They're 18 and above. Someone who is in university is 18 and above. So for you as a parent to be overbearing and strict and overprotective to an 18 year old, to an adult, means they're going to lie to you. And because you refuse to listen to them, you refuse to create an environment where they can tell you the truth, I'm going to teach them how to lie to you like pros. And look at the talk about. Mrembo, mrembo, umeni kunya kama tembo Mrembo, mrembo, wapendeza kama petals Mrembo, mrembo, kubali tu setol Hey, mrembo, mrembo Number one is freedom if you have strict parents, the first thing you should do is look for a school far, uko, far away from your parents. Mbali, absolutely far away from them. So if you've already made the mistake of living with your parents while in campus, oh, oh, oh. no, I have, I, have, I have a solution for you, but why? Why? If you live in Nairobi, tafta shule Mombasa. If you live in Mombasa, and I'll do it. If you're in Eldor, kuja Nairobi Mombasa. Come on, Oleshe Mbaisa Imara. Enda Tanzania, ata, where? Stay away from them. Because absence does whatever, makes the heart grow. That nant, absence gives you freedom, gives you a choice. Unaingia kwenye mboka tunataka. Yes, utakufa nja, no, <laughs> utakufa nja, but you have freedom, right? So you're looking for freedom. You know you'll die of starvation, that's a fact. <laughs> Unless you're rich kid, you'll die of starvation, but... You'll be far away from your parents. See, see, that's the goal. That's the goal. That's freedom. You're looking for freedom, but to talk fanja. <laughs> Guaranteed. You know me? I can tell you for free. You will die. And if you're not dying of starvation, you will. Yes, thank you. For those of you who already made the mistake and you're living with your parents, this is how it's done. Unazak chelewa. Unazak chelewa tu. Na unachelewa na style. So, so, if you're in first year, the first one month, be diligent. Come home on time. Come on seven. Come on class nature five. Make sure you're at home by seven. Right? Second month, start having project, group projects. Hmm? Start having uh, those lecturers who want to do makeup classes. Whether it's true or not, chelewa na style. Right? So you're commuting from home to school and from back and forth. Chelewa. Which parent, eh? Which parent is going to allow their kid to be late for a week straight? That's dangerous. In Nairobi, Kwanza, this Nairobi, eh, 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 no, no. So what they're going to do is they're going to start looking for ways where you can rent, maybe stay in a hostel, stuff like that. Chelewa nampam. For like a month straight. Ah, ah, why? See, okay, let's see. Kusko, jinga, so kibi, wasi, utakunja kusama nini? Ni mimi, niko, wey, mimi ada skujui, wey, ebo relax. So, una chelewa nampam. Hmm? Kuna group projects. Ukutawa group projects. Kuna ule like mojo. There's that. There's always that like who wants make up classes during very odd hours. Next, mulipatiwa project ya kuenda kuongea na watu. Kwa streets. Next, you had a, a class project where you're supposed to stay and nini meet people, interact with people, you know, surveys surveys you know african parents respect schoolwork so when you tell them it's about schoolwork hey end up go stay with your friends it's fine i'll give you even the fair nini nini use your brain so you kill you use that ex ex excuse every day when i remember kill like to use your brain so once in a while once in a while kwanza kama when you and you want to stay away from home and your campus is next to home, but you want your own hostel or a house somewhere. Be very careful. Because if you do this chelewaring thing, and then something bad happens to you, bro. <laughs> Miss Kujui, I don't know you. Why? I don't know you. So, second day, Meisha, bado wa mekata. Uko thadia. Ay. Who doesn't know that in thadia, there's a lot of work? Who does not know? Hmm? Thadia, hey, kona kazi mingi. So use that. 
and a library. When you must a library, library, huh? Hadi usiku. Unambia bethe meta sta ata ata kuna matatu meza either uba home or mamu kujie. Na mbae kushu kwa library. Unajua sa shida hako mi. Unasumu kwa library. Alafu unasumu wacha kujie. Wana kupata club. Na ufikiri. Me I want you to think. Use your head. Sawa? Ukolibu kolibu. Sawa sawa? Kama uliambia wenda archives ju research nini history. Uko archives. Bro. Usuko sane. Uko archives. Sawa? Waku kujie. You think your parents will allow you to be late and not safe? At home, at Josh, what a good afternoon, and you and there, my brothers and sisters, is how you get to live away from your parents. Thank you, thank you. Hi, so you have gotten your house. This is for the people who are commuting. Now, for those who are not commuting, you, you already stay away from your parents. You have, but now you're in a hostel, you don't want to live in a hostel anymore. You want to stay outside, like a bed sitter or a single house but you want to like you want to move move out and the, your parents are strict let me teach you how it's done <laughs> that's why i'm here let me teach you how it's done so number one actually i'll give you my story so what happened was <laughs> what happened was for me i didn't want to stay in a hostel right i wanted my own car space away from everyone just my own space so i called my mom and i was like mom me i want to move out she's like apana na jo nataka kwenda uko nje ndio usiko na monitoriwa you should have a roommate blah 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 i was like ah okay <laughs> my mom is watching this mom i lied to you <laughs> i was like so mom acha nikwambie mama i please huh? i please hadi wanavuta banki God, mom, wana vuta bank. Imagine, nani wana ume kumbo konza alafu wana vutia banki kubalikoni yangu, mom, surely. Wasa wanataka alafu banki zao zikishika, ukujwa ni vunjia mlangu wa nibia vitu, mom. Eh, African parent, African mother. Mbiyo sana, aha, ma, mwapata nyumba, zanonga mwapata nyumba, yuko safe, na sipu sa mingi, hama, hata, hata, toka tu saizi. Abote, 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 abote. And that's how I got my first place, baby. That's how I first I got my first single house. <laughs> Use the things that your parents hate the most. Weed. Pato, mama watu wanalewa. Dad, chani kuambia kwanza. Yo, our vijana, our chana ni reckless, ni immoral. Wanaleta watu kwa nyumba. If you're a guy, that was shit and guys. Me, I don't know. How do you help guys? Because if you tell your dad... As a, as a dude that people are smoking weed. Unless ni pasta. Hey, take a chick Unless ni pasta. Pasta, hey, hey, toka, 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 chanda kutafia. But use an excuse. As a guy, I don't know how to help you happen. Because you see, with girls, it's super easy. Jukisha buambia weed. Pombe, wasichana, wakona tabia mbaya. Wee! Gone. Ay, hapo, anakutua hapo mbio. Chap, 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 chap. Now, when it comes to matters money, Ha <laughs> Hey, here I know you want to know. Hmm? I wish I knew me. I wish because you know what? Me, I was stupid. I was very dumb. I, so I'm telling you so that you don't become like me because me I was dumb. Let me tell you. So, so, imagine. Okay, there's this thing called matriculation ceremony in law school where first years they're supposed to go wear the gown. You see the gowns that James Orengo is wearing right now. If you watch news. Those girl, yeah, you wear such a gown and then you go alafu una apa, like you take an oath. I will be a diligent student. I'm going to do my best to make sure that um, I carry the name of this school with dignity. I'll do that. I'll study. I'll be studious. Blah, blah, blah. So you take an oath, right? So that function is usually free. It is free. Una pewa gown free. Una enda kwa, kwa basi free. You go up to Joro. At the time, we were in town campus. So we take the bus, school bus. To Joro and get matriculated. Sa sa me with my damn head. People were asking their parents for money for matriculation. Yes, it's free, but you ask Mam Kwanza to my na on a matriculation ceremony na a thousand bob. When your mother knows what matriculation ceremony is, okay, unless your parents are lawyers, don't you dare. <laughs> don't dare. But as long as your parents are not lawyers, as long as they've not done that course, as long as they've not gone to university, lie. <laughs> What your jinga? Use your head. Imagine I didn't ask for money. People ask their parents for money. I didn't. Imagine I regret a deal. I decide, but I regret. People got a thousand bob. Free. Free. Let me scoop out a shit. 
baron ni jao <laughs> nina jao i have a friend of mine i won't name names <laughs> i'm not naming names but this guy i'll call na ibiwa simu every single time every semester i'm ibiwa simu ha, no the probability of you being ibiwa simu every single semester eh, I love the thing is you in uni so set to miss a car bila for so nini bila phone for long you can't it's not possible because classes are being updated on whatsapp you need to find your assignment on whatsapp documents zako zote ziko whatsapp you can't stay without a phone for long well granted their parents who don't care <laughs> those are your parents eh hey, bro me i'm sorry because what's out to do eh so this guy used to get phones every semester apparently 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 and then he's smart cuz every time he buy the same same phone at a teacher the same amount i buy the same same i'm so scared i buy the same same phone so unaweza feature hii unifanye maibiwa oh ni kwanza alikuwa anasema anapigwa ngeta one akapigwa ngeta next time nyumba yake kavunjwa wakapata hakuna kitu nyingine alibanga isipokuwa simu i know damn right but was a kabila phone for that long in uni was it was a kabila phone so this is the excuses this guy was using sim alafu kwanza hey kuna time hadi lapi ilibiwa lapi ilibiwa apparently oh so you my friends we are having a nini 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 laptop card bro You see for guys it works because guys are usually at risk of getting robbed kushinda madini in campus that's a fact no that's one's a, that's a fact so this guy is using it sana to get what exactly <laughs> you're smart sasa honestly speaking if most parents were just good or they were reasonable could just call them like yo mommy i want to go out and party with my friends can you send money lakini was that about now wait first of all men i've never done any of this siko mjinga sa zingine sa you know nifanye na mpango because me i'm telling when money money no but you ngine i that what i buy i may had to get my own house bro what i had to get my own house so when it comes to money i didn't do that. i wish i did man because niko na simu ya miaka 4 because i'm so responsible i'm so responsible since that bado niko na hii ni simu ya first year yenye na record na ya first year because akili yangu ilikataa kusema nimebiwa simu nimeleza simu nyingine i wish i wish i did I actually wish i did because say me I have another friend of mine. <laughs> oh you are a fanya med. Ka una watch you man jua. Ni wewe. Mm. So, this person <laughs> the parents have not done med, right? Lakini sasa he's the first med student kwao. So, hey, uko na ile mtoto wangu. This guy asked for things that are so advanced for a first year. But because wazazi wana join ni medicine, na join medicine, wanaweza kuwa na chef tu zamana. <laughs> <laughs> this guy was asking for weird shit at the stethoscope. So, yeah, for where? For where? This guy, this guy asked for <laughs> Guy, unoleza all the kind of machinery, anything, any equipment you can think of that advanced doctors use, unachoke first year. Because how will they know? They're not going to know. How no, how will they know? Unless unless they have a lot of close friends who are doctors or themselves are doctors apo bro mrs said no you you where is away is that you if you have strict parents and they're doctors and you're doing medicine apo no if you have strict parents and they're lawyers and you're doing law <laughs> sorry bro as long as they're not in your field because they'll know your life they will know your life so me i'm only talking about people whose parents have not done the same course as them those are the only ones i can help you you're just beyond help i'm sorry sorry with your very tough life pole sir pole i don't want to mislead anyone when it comes to partying to having fun i did not like to my parents because my dad may his soul rest in peace i used to call him and be like uh dad i'm going out with my friends i want money for pombe and be 
na tatuma he said that's the kind of father i had so i don't want to mislead you me used to just say the truth because according to an chapa he's very understanding so i could get away with anything right a good example so if i want does does this um time i wanted to go out with guy friends right so when i call my dad the, he will he will tell me like there's a list of rules he kept repeating number one don't go out with people you don't trust do not mix your beer do not mix drinks at all come would you mix a channel higher he'd say uh go with more girls than guys like if your friend if you have a friend group make sure the number of girls you're going to party with are more than the guys and then don't go with guys you do not trust so whether the girls are more if you do not trust those guys do not go with them at all those are the list of rules and then he'll send money and then he'll be like take care drink responsibly make sure you're back home make sure ulale kwako our rule was make sure ulale kwako na usizime drink to an amount where utazima those are the rules right now granted it's not like i don't have male friends i trust i do they're just two and those two my parents know them by name okay so if i say i'm going out with this one if i say i'm going out with this one she is fine with it my dad used to be fine with it so i have two guys this one i can drink with i can never black out but najua i'll be safe so if you have those you can go out drinking with them i'm not saying don't go out if you have male friends you trust only if you trust them please dear ladies for guys oh no matter sino ambia nini you guys just drink any regardless i don't even think i should be telling you how to let your parents when it comes to drinking because you all drink so should then you can have a protective mom make sure don't be like the dumb kid on tiktok who left the bottle kwa nyumba bro you know your mom is nosy and you're leaving the wee wee guy kemani eh otieno what is wrong with you onyis <laughs> Onyis, what is wrong with you, Onyis? Why, you, why are you leaving the bottle in the house, bro? Why, why are you dumb? No, why are you dumb? Sasa, you, you don't have those parents. Kwanza wewe akikupata na pombe, woo, umedzo ni luminati. I saw that video on TikTok. Me ni liisha. Juya pombe, mama kemani, neke, negai, johi. So this is what you do if you're going out with your friends yeah make sure you call your parents before make sure you call your like if you go to this let's say today's friday right so you call them at 6 if you guys are going at 9 pay a pay story okay no wait if you usually give your parents stories like if you are the type to talk to your parents for a very long period of time on the phone do that us kwa suspicious at a drop no kuzi unafanya so come on you come banga tu pesa alafu mungenge after that do that if you're the type to give them stories do that but make sure hmm? you call them before you go out you know why so that after mungenge now mungenge now if ato kiwaambia mom simu ilizima dad simu ilizima you think they would believe you you've given them stories or you've asked them for money the way you normally do you think you think they'll call you later on like oh mbona umetuzimia simu no but you just go you you didn't you didn't give proof of life and then they call you and then you find that you're not picking the calls or umezima simu bro why are you stupid no no because you're dumb you're really dumb what you're posing mm. be smart be smart once you've given proof of life now you can go and party because in the back the back of their minds umemaliza story ya leo right if they usually check up on you every single day make sure before you go you check up on them you call them mama how are you you miss oh like shule inaendelea vizuri we are studying nicely oh do the normal thing now if you start asking for a lot of money on fridays unachoma unachoma because why do you particularly need money on friday kama unapewangwa pesa ya month please 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 pangia yako ya kando ya kujibamba okay don't be calling them up for money they will know they will know they will know so for me because mine was just super easy like just call him tell him where i'm going easy right i i 
we were in shock. <laughs> it was easy. Ah, when it comes to parting, super easy because he didn't have an issue by the way. So Sam, let me give you a story. So see, I've given you the rules that I usually had. Now there's a time I broke one of those rules. I regret. I, the guy was right. Of course he was right. Like he was. He he already trusts me, and he has shown me that he trusts me. So I'm doing everything in my power, right, to make sure I don't look as if no, I do not insinuate I am breaking that trust. But this time I became dumb. Me, I went with a group of guy friends, no girls. Woo! 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 I wish I didn't, because I regret that shit. Like that was the worst experience ever. Why? Because when you go with guys, they have this key mentality where they think, at now, because they are with you, you're going to twerk for them. Me! Hey! Oh! 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 oh. No, I won't. I love you. Hmm. Let me tell you. No, this, this is the part that just annoyed me. It annoyed the fuck. Sasa, there was this girl. We didn't go with her. Right? And then she got, dr like, mad drunk. She's not from faculty of law, so like we're not close. I evil, but she's drunk, drunk. So me naturally, as I thought we are supposed to all do, I went to take care of her, right? Then for like five minutes, ni me talk I'm going to check. It was a concert, right? So I've gone to check the the celebrities who came. Kurudi, I find a grown ass man, mu baba, amushkiliam shanawetu. Hey! So I'm struggling with everyone. I want this motherfucker to let go of this girl because I don't even know him. The guy is drunk. He's like, oh, so I'm like, huh? Hey, what? Hey, what? Hey, what? Hey, what? Hey, what? What the hell? So I went to the bouncer. I'm calling the bouncer. Come pick my girl. Bro, this guy is holding on to a girl he doesn't know. He wants to kidnap, he wants to rape her, he wants to do all those shit. The bouncer is like, you're the friend, prove it. Hey, how do you prove? Bro, me don't even know this Chile, but she's drunk. So we're supposed to take care. I thought we're supposed to take care of people who are just flat out drunk. Like, and she was, this, uh, we slapped that girl and she could not wake up. It was bad. It was bad. But, so, me thought we're supposed to, Hi. And then this bouncer is like, prove that you're her friend. Because I'm a kuja, Juni Kimleta, and Pata Nombaba. So he's like, Udem, and Kakuza, Umsham, Zaki to some guys. I'm like, we're literally the same age. This guy looks older. How in your brain are you telling yourself that I'm the one who's stealing the girl from this guy? Like, Kwani! Hey, yeah. So I've struggled, I, I struggled until I cried. I'm telling the friends he came, she came with a group of guys, Pia, Makosa, Mako. These guys don't care. They've come to Bamba, to Jibamba, not to take care of some drunk chili. They don't care. Hey. So, me, I'm looking for the friends she came with. They're all guys. Useless piece of shit. And that's why my dad was like, make sure the group you're going with has some guys. Make sure it has some guys, some girls, because men out here. And then the worst part, actually the part that annoyed me the most is you're actually, you see, you see, when you tell guys to take care of a drunk friend, they're like, imagine un overreact or chanae. Someone made me feel bad for taking care of a fellow girl. I'm like... Do you not live in the world we live in where girls cannot be left alone if they're drunk? Because that's danger. Like, you know where the danger is. Hell, you know where the danger is. And you're telling me to leave her. Ha! That guy made me feel shitty for taking care of a friend. Surely. Okay, his friend. Actually, he was like, he was like, he was like, he was like, the acquaintances then. But, how do you live a me that that experience traumatized me till it it still traumatizes me i had to speak it out and from then on i do not go anywhere if the number of girls is not more than the guys because was china if we go to the toilet we go together if we are going to beat someone up we're going together if this one wants to talk we are around her to make sure that this guy is not misbehaving please we behave 
that's that's why I like female friendships. They're just they're just nice. People are just nice, you know. So finally, we managed to get that girl out of the back to Mubaba's hands and back to the friends. And then, let me tell you, this is the difference between girls. So when, when you have a group of girls and you have a group of guys. Guys, they don't take care of their friends. That will never happen for girls. Because me and my girl group, right? If you're going out, if you're going out to party, right? There's the one who doesn't drink sana, right? There's the me. There's the, there's the me. There's me who's over protective right we have the extrovert and then we have the last one who's you know just the hyper hype person and then we have the funny one like there's always the, the group is just dynamic right so the one who doesn't drink sana is the one who keeps the phones keeps our bags keeps our jackets everything no much younger then there's the me okay so me check some of there's the me then there's me <laughs> who is overprotective so me I find a guy, you don't like this guy. This guy is disturbing you in the club. Mimi Chupa, where bro? Right? And then we have the, the other one who helps me because kuna time pia mina simbolio na jama. I'm like, you bro, stop. And this guy is drunk. Then my friend comes away. You know, like, we're just, there's, there's a system that goes on when it comes to girls' group. Guys, this one gets drunk, flat out drunk. Wanacha disimu kwa mfuko. But lo tuwe simu ya uja maa. At least, kama una mwachanisha, umwachanishe. But make sure you have the phone. Akia mka the next thing wambia bro, uliko melewa sana jana shiga simu ya. But people don't think. And that is why my dad was like, bro, make sure you have more girls than guys. Don't ever disobey. Do not disobey that. You'll regret. So, so imagine, umedangani ya mzazi, uliku melala. You've called them, you've done everything I've said, and then, oh, the next morning, mom, nilibu asim. Because your friends, your friends don't care about you. That's the reason. Now, you've, and then, now they know, kazi yako nikupati, and you're responsible. I'm telling you, think. Use your head. When you're doing all these things, use your Head. Yes. So if you're girl, make sure more girls, and make sure there's a person who doesn't drink sana. They they can handle you, but they don't drink sana. When it comes to boyfriends and girlfriends, ha! We have a better because my parents are smart. Hey, my parents are smart. Cause my mom. Hey, I, I. You know what my mom told me? Sasa, I just say zipe nyumefika. Okay, university. When I was in second year, I think she was like, "Uh, now that you're in uni, mm, there's not much I can tell you, but just be careful." And ukipata mtoto, me says it kwa boat. Just let him lay. Ha, ha, bro. We African mom where? Who? Mjema, bro. Me that afadhali uniambie, do not want to ever see. Maybe in school, trust me, tell me, but I'd rather those parents. The ones that tell you they'll go, they are going to nini layer the kid. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, Mm. That is some reverse psychology nonsense bullshit in my head because now me I'm like you know what I'm not getting pregnant oh hell no I'm gonna be very responsible I'm gonna be very responsible and so if for parents who want to play with their kids' brains be like my mom wambi at the end of the day ni ni grandchild no I don't want then there's this nonsense African parents usually have. So, from first year, hardy for there, you're not supposed to date. You're not supposed to have someone. You're supposed to concentrate on your studies. And then once you finish, they want you to have a boyfriend. From where heaven? From heaven. Ah, Mama Njoroge, from heaven. Exactly. Yes. You tell them to study, but expect them to have boyfriends. My mom pulled that shit on me. Ni kamwambia mom si nilikuwa nasoma. No, so nilipeleka shule nisome. No, no, uliniambia ji nisome ni malize. Nimesoma ni maliza. Why do you want a boyfriend? From where? From who? As you know, you've reached that age where you're supposed to just start being serious because you're not growing any younger. I'm like, hey, and dems, please. It's a gender Kenya school of law. Me, oh, it's a gentleman's 
Bro, let me tell you, the best revenge on your very strict parents when it comes to dating. Tell them you are studying when they start asking for. Na na unaniletea mtu lini? Mom nilikuwa nasoma. Nilikuwa nasoma. Dating for those who live with their parents. Ebu, <laughs> no, I promise you, they won't kill you. Go to your parents and be like, um, there's this guy who has invited me out, if you're a girl. There's this chile I want to take out. See, see, you give me some money, I go take this girl out. See what your parents will say. Imagine they won't kill you. You with your big age, you're 18 to 24, with your big age, you think your parents will refuse. If they do, now big girl, oops, <laughs> oops. Sorry, <laughs> bad advice, bad advice. But if they don't, imagine I tried that shit. <laughs> I was like, I told my mom, mom, uh, I'm going to town to meet up with this guy. He's taking me out. You know what she said? Hey, Lorin Umeanza. I'm like, Umeanza, mom. <laughs> but Ume Kwanza, Kwanza. I'm just telling you, do drop in Nico. She's like, okay, it's fine. Can I oh you know the usual reverse psychology nonsense bullshit, huh? Uh no just as you can answer it a bit because we're channel a Kenya school of law. This is okay, but I'm about to find a new Roger Lesma like, total letter to me. Bro, stop. Stop saying that, bro. Stop. She's like, hmm. So when you saw it, we end up. to me affair. My mom, my mom is a material girl. I never to me affair. Like, what to be fair? When I talk to this year, I'm like, mom, <laughs> chill. We lurks, mother. We lurks. God damn. So anywho, plus side, she did not call me the entire time. Like I didn't me because she knew where I was. Who made these parents are not that strict? Hi. <laughs> They're not that bad. I say, as in, as in, they are bad like this. Oh no, you know, you know. Who you know me? Chicken me, bro. Me who keep pigwa. Me I'm not with you. I love you, Konza. There's this teacher of ours. Hello, teacher. Like, Wakili advocate. Uh, he was like, me Konza. I give my boys money to take their girls out on dates because so sa iyo ne bugani kijana wangu. Mtu ane tanisha na mimi. And that they can't even take their girls out on my date. I was like, Ooh. hey, damn. Oof. Mkoa, mkoa rich, uko unje. Mkoa rich. Damn. I won't remember mango upuzi. Mati brother. Sa brother, I'm going to be. Mama, let's go pass up. Peleka, I'm saying that. Ah. Sadao. Silly. Sad. Wey. When I was check, it would be funny, but imagine trying. Your parents can't kill you. And if they do, oops. <laughs> oops. Ah, uh, me, I'm not teaching you how to lie to your parents about drugs. Drugs. Una, una konyo wa bangi. Guy. Pabi ambara. Me don't. Me, I know. Me don't. Hey, bangi. Una konyo wa bangi. No, kiri kwa na kichwa. No, 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 no. Me don't. I me don't use wa jakoya, by the way. <laughs> I don't use a hey, bro. That is imagine, imagine. Mzazi wako, huh? Mzazi wako, amengangana akupeleke shule, akulipe school fees, and then you go and use weed. No kiri kwa na kicho. Well, granted, technically you cannot kiri kwa na kicho because of weed, but kiri kwa na kicho. Your parents believe utaru kwa na kicho. So follow them. Let's care. Yes, there's no scientific explanation for you unezaru kwa na kicho. There's nothing of the sort. It's a myth, but don't because utaru kwa na kicho. <laughs> don't know how. Una join the tegemeo la familia. Ni wena ongelesha. Mbona unatumia bangi? Kwanza wengine wanatumia cocaine. You rich rich kids motherfucking. Why unatoa wapi pesa? Eh, hey, yeah. yo. Una he he ah. When it comes to drug just be like, drugs just be like me, bro. Just be, become like me. Me no join ni venye ni venye Yesu alisema pombe is healthy. Others me atasema kwa kunywa pesa cha kushoto. Me, I don't even drink like that. Me, I just drink like to get the throat. You know, Jesus said, no, no. Jesus said, me don't like show. Jesus said that it's good for you. Kido go to see on fire. And he said, enjoy your life. Alafu kukungina kwa ungeza mamba consequences. Lakini, alisema enjoy your life. 
So you enjoy your life. Sawa? So, eh na pombe is not good for you. Bandu unakunywa. Kai kemani. Kemani orajo. Orajo ajo. Oh, si jo. Fagi unaku. Hey, hey, unakunywa fagi. Kai kemani jo ye. Jova. Tab bad manners. Bad manners. Literally weed is good for your appetite. Muskia? Weed is good for appetite. It is good for 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 lowering depression and sadness but it is bad for you because why your african mother told you it is bad for you so it is bad for you so so yes the lit utarukwa na kichwa kwa utakuwa mjinga literally we reduces your anxiety levels and your stress levels but no leave the scientific facts alone it is bad for you Sawa, you and your lack of appetite do not use it. Sawa, sawa. It's, there's even parts of weed that can literally reduce um some kind of malignant tissue. What is it called? Cancer cells and shit. But no, that's no. no where watch a scientific facts. Mama yako ame sema ni mbaya. Ni mbaya. Mwacha no. Wait. Wait. Ebu ebu simkasirisha saizi bad manners. And that ladies and gentlemen is how you lie to your parents. You have been with me, Lorraine Omboy, for the next video on how to do anything while you're in uni because I am qualified. Yes, I've just finished four years in university. So I know I have the experience. Yes, ask me. Ask me. Thank you. Bye. See you in the next video.